Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Max. I'm back today with another YouTube video, and today we're going to just be playing some regular gameplay. No ship hoss 24-7, because I actually want to be able to commentate and have a decent, you know, mentality <laughs> through this video. I wanted to say a quick thank you for everyone who's been subscribing more recently. Uh, we're really starting to creep up on 100 subscribers, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. It'd be really cool. I've been using the Tommy gun recently, and d don't don't judge the camo, okay? I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to use the camos a little bit so I can get some use out of them. I mean, obviously, people just go for the mastery camo, and it's whatever. Uh, or even gold, and then they just throw on gold until they get diamond, and then they just use diamond until they get, you know, atomic. I'm trying to make the devs feel good about, you know, taking the time to make these camos. Like, this one, honestly, it's not bad. It's just very... Very bland pattern, you know, kind of thing, but... Whoo! I'll probably do, like, a ranking list of, like, the... My favorites from best to worst on the uh, SMGs when I get them all gold, hopefully. Uh, the Tommy gun, honestly, has been... Uh, it was slow to start, but once you get some attachments on it, just like, I guess, any other gun, it, it starts to pick up in decency. I would say the MP40 was very good when I picked it up from the start, you know, the MP40 SMG. But uh, the Tommy gun was not in the same light. I was, I was, thought I was gonna struggle heavy with that, but it wasn't too bad, I guess. See, it's just nice to play, you know, games like this every now and again, where it's a little bit slow paced, and you know, it's not so crazy, and you can just play a game of COD without fucking grinding your ass off for these damn camos. So I want to do a video where you guys, the subscribers, pick my class for me. So if you're watching this point in the video, um, consider leaving down a uh, create a class. Like, at least the gun, uh, some some hindrances on the gun that are going to make it more difficult for me. The perks, secondary, everything that you would want to see. And I'll try and basically uh, not get shit on like that in a video for it. <laughs> yeah, high alert is a pretty bullshit perk, isn't it? It's the second time that guy's beamed me from up there. It's the last time he's going to fucking do it, too. Get him? Wait. Why did this guy not eliminate him? Dude, what is happening with this gentleman right here? Is he cheating? I got the most headshots of that game. Nice. You want to know what really depresses me, though? People who, like, hate on, like, you know, entry-level associates at, like, different, like, places of business. Like, you know, like, Target or, you know, Walmart and stuff like this. It's like, dude, you're just there to shop and, and get your shit and leave. Like, why do you gotta make their life difficult, like, as if they can control the, you know, uh, prices of shit or, or whatever else? I mean, it, it it's really is just uh, insane. How some people are and how some people act in this world. The reason I say all this is because I was at Target the other day and, um, you know, <laughs> this lady wanted to return something, right? And she didn't have her, she didn't have a receipt. She just did not have a receipt. Now, Target has a policy, I'm pretty sure, where they can go back and look on your credit card hi uh, history if it's within a certain amount of time. Like, they can look, they can pull up your, uh, your credit card number if you have it. And they can scan it through their system so long as you bought it at their, at their store. The problem was not only did this lady not buy this particular item at their Target, but it had also been nine months since she purchased it. It was a bottle of like some, I don't know, Olay or some shit. And it's just like, and then she's like practically screaming and demanding for a manager. It's like, dude, homie, you are not in the right spot right now. There's so many different scenarios and reasons why this person's wrong it's not even funny it just seems like our society goes more and more towards this sort of meta of you know oh well this is normal practice and you know i, I need to get my shit resolved now and, and like take care of the customer like isn't that what you guys do it's like yes to a degree when you're right i mean i work in retail and i felt for the guy i wanted to almost step in and say hey listen lady you need to chill the fuck out so i guess the moral of the story is i just i guess i'll never understand why people feel the need or think it's necessary to put down people who are just doing their job or are just trying to have an opinion or, or, or whatever the case may be. Dude, hello? There's like no recoil on this. This is actually really nice with these attachments right now. 
The damage is a little down, so that's what you're paying the price of. More, less recoil for, or more recoil, oh, fuck, less recoil for less damage. But I, honestly, it might be worth it. I mean, I'd rather sink a couple more bullets in because it's easier to sink them in now. Also, these people are just running to their death. He's a fucking rat. Look at what's become of you. A rat in the desert. If you guys don't know what that reference is, then... Uh, it's a shame. You know, say what you want about, you know, um, Vanguard, but the maps really aren't that bad. The game in general really isn't that bad. Maybe I should do a Call of Duty tier list. Oh. That would have been disgusting. And once again, look at look how ineffective this stun is. That landed in his fucking lap. Dude, no way I fucking got that guy. I got him. That's Oh my god, there's an armada of dogs! Hold on, Corporal! They're fucking sending everything they got at us! Retreat! Fall back to a safer point! Oh my god, there's four dogs coming for me! No! You'll never take me alive, you pesky fox! Oh man. Dude, they're actually trying to come back and win this. Cut them off, men. Go for it! Let's go! See, this is some good gameplay. Now let's go on to the other side of Vanguard and see how it is right now. Dude, fuck off! Let's go. No! No! Oh my god, here we go with the shanks and the knives and the throwing knives and the fucking BS shotguns. Oh, this is great. Love Das Haas. There we go. That was a triple headshot feed. Hold the fuck up. Dude, the Tommy gun fucking slaps. That kid in that fucking search and destroy game didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. You just gotta know how to use it, bro. Like, I feel like it's best with the recoil control, sprint to fire, and, and hip fire control. If you can get all that shit, nothing else matters. Like, look at this shit. I'm beaming this kid down the hallway. I can never do that with the fucking MP40. Immediately, I didn't kill him, but, you know. You know what? No. 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 We're not gonna ruin the day. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Like I said earlier in the video, we're already so close to 100 subscribers. It'd be really cool to hit sometime, maybe this month or next. So let me know uh, if you want to see a video where I do like a class that you guys suggest for me on Vanguard, where I just play it and I do it. It might be a few episodes from then, uh, or videos, I mean, uh, simply because I might not have the attachments that you guys suggest. But if you do a full kit out, perks and all, I will be happy to do it. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Later.